I'm super excited to be able to share with you the Rodecaster Pro 2 that I've just taken out of the box. I have already plugged a microphone into the port at the back and there's also places for headphone, headphone jacks. I am just checking that that's all plugged in and on what I have done is with a particular channel you can choose the type of microphone that you use on the mixer and you can also adjust the dB gain so this particular microphone is a condenser microphone which needs phantom power and therefore when I go to the setting for the channel 2 here I have to adjust that particular microphone and tell it that it's a condenser microphone so that the mixer knows to turn power on for that particular microphone. You can see on other channels, I haven't added microphones, but you can see there's a whole number of different preset microphones that can be used with this particular mixer as well as instruments and line in. So you basically adjust and choose what goes on what particular channel. One of the very first things I noticed when I unboxed the Rodecaster Pro 2 was the size is somewhat smaller than the original Rodecaster Pro. And for me, someone who's used the other mixer, I realized that they've really done a good job of adjusting the layout of this particular model. Now, what they've also done is made it fully customizable, which means that you can customize which faders do what particular action based on your own workflow. So what makes this an exceptional mixer is it is customizable for any number of things. Whereas the Rodecaster Pro 1 was actually geared around podcasting, this is perfect for live streaming, gaming, also live music and also podcasting. So if you're someone who's looking for you know, a one-size-fits-all type application for a mixer, a digital mixer, then the Rodecaster Pro 2 is probably all you'll need to get if you're a small operator looking to, you know, have something that's highly portable, which brings me to the weight. Rode's renowned for really good solid builds and engineering when it comes to their products, and I did take this out of the box, and I felt it was really light compared to the previous version of the Rodecaster Pro. And I considered why it feels lighter. It obviously is lighter. But then I realized it's actually about portability. What they've done by changing the footprint size and also the weight of the product is they've made it portable. And the way I know that is because underneath, there's actually a place that you can mount this particular Rodecaster Pro on a stand. This wasn't available in the Rodecaster in the earlier version. They've created a beveled screen, roughly five and a half inches, uh, highly sensitive touch uh, screen performance. So when you touch the screen, it's, it's really responsive. Uh, you can also touch the buttons just below the screen, which allow you to make adjustments for each channel based on what you want the channel to actually do. And you can also adjust using a drag and drop the faders for your workflow. So what this means is you can drag a particular fader and it will actually change where that function occurs on the mixer. So this is really important for musicians who may want to you know, set up particular instruments or people who want to work in a particular way. It's a really good addition for this particular feature. There's also other features like the display. It lights up like a Christmas tree, but there is intention behind that because the LED displays around the headphone volume knobs here actually correspond to the channel of the mixer. So when you alter, you know, which fader controls what feature or function, the lights or the LEDs for the corresponding headset will actually change too. What's interesting too with this particular mixer is it has what they refer to as your six physical faders, but there's actually virtual faders as well, which is something that uh, is different to most other products is this connects to up to two computers or a computer and other device like the iPad or, or a phone or something. It allows you to not only have the physical adjustments for those particular faders, you can add or set up other features from your computer or a phone 
And it also has the mix minus as well that you would expect in, you know, a broadcast, like podcast scenario, where if you're taking incoming phone calls and you need to record someone, it will actually not feed back the audio to that individual. And when you record, you won't have an echo or anything like that, which some mixers don't have that functionality. It can be quite tricky getting that to work. So really simple to use if you're in the live streaming or podcasting space uh, and that's all just in the setup and configuration when you first turn it on it will take you through a process of a setup wizard you can if you know what you're doing just choose to manually set it up or you can use the setup wizard which for me uh, is a really simple process and it explains you know your faders the volumes you get to choose your microphones and you get to also configure your workflow. Another feature that is different on this particular Rodecaster Pro compared to the previous version is that it has shuffle pads. So you can shuffle through the touch pads that control sound effects. But these pads are also now smart pads. So what that means is you can program these to also trigger events. So for live streaming or gaming, that's a bit of a game changer. So the other thing is not only does it have sound effects, which were a feature of the previous version where you have multiple sound banks that you can install your own sounds. It also has a voice changer feature so you can actually play around and live stream in a different voice. It could be a, a little bit of fun if you're in that space where you want to muck around. And I will have a video that demonstrates that feature for you to watch if you choose to. You can also configure the components here on the unit itself when it comes to, you know, your smart pad configuration. You can configure, you know, your outputs, your monitor, your headphones, uh, the listen features. So the green button allows you to listen on a particular channel without that channel being broadcast. You can also do multi-track recording. So you can choose when you record, whether you want everything to be mixed down into one recording, or you can record each channel as its own track. So if you're a musician or you're a broadcaster and you want to have the ability to separate if people are talking over themselves or over each other in a large group setting, then the multi-track feature would work really well with that. This also plugs into a computer. So if you're using multi-track, you can also connect it to the computer and record it direct to the computer as a multi-track as well. So that's the added value of this particular mixer over some of the cheaper mixers that only have one mix down from all channels. And that's basically what a mixer does is it mixes a whole heap of signals and inputs into a series of outputs. And some mixers don't have the ability for you to break down the outputs at the record end or in your digital audio workstation. The other thing this mixer has is the ability to have MIDI control. So what I'd have to say about this product is Rode has really considered the content creator in building this particular version of their mixer. And you can see it just in the layout and the configuration and all the settings. It has the, you know, Aphex uh, processor, which allows for sound effects and compression and voice changes and deep voice and you know you can change aspects of the quality uh, you can choose podcast or broadcast it also has what they call revolution preamp so what that is is it's their own technology that they've developed to help create a cleaner signal uh, and amplification of the audio so I, I don't think that there's many products on the market at this price point that can do what this piece of technology actually does. Uh, I think anyone who's looking to either get into the content creation space and or looking to create a podcast or is looking to upgrade their current you know, mixer for whether it be music, live streaming or gaming, then I would say this is by far the best piece of equipment that I've seen in this price range for content creators across the board. The other thing that is really good about this particular mixer is that when you connect it to the internet, it will keep it up to date. It has its own operating system that's specifically been designed by Rode, which basically means that the quad core processor that this device actually has will have software that can be written for it based on what the needs of creators are. So as 
creators find more needs and uses for this mixer. Road have indicated that they'll be able to roll out features because it's actually an operating system sitting on this particular device. I don't know what more I can say to sell you on this particular mixer. There's, there's, there's too much to tell is probably what I would have to say. And hopefully I've given you some insight into some of the features and functionality of this particular device. I just want to say thank you for listening. Hopefully I've covered some of the things that you know this mixer has to offer and it'll help you make a purchasing decision and it'll help you in your content creation journey.